In this video, we'll take an extremely brief look at the history of the modern periodic table. We'll study two scientists, Dmitry Mendeleev and Henry Moseley. One day, when Dmitry Mendeleev was preparing for a lecture, he wrote all the elements on cards, one element per card. On the card was also written the element's properties and its mass. And then he arranged the cards in order of increasing atomic mass. Let's go through that again. He had a stack of cards. On each card, he wrote the element's symbol, its properties, and its atomic mass. And then he arranged the cards in order of increasing atomic mass. As Mendeleev was flipping through them, he realized that the properties of the elements periodically repeated themselves. And that's where we get the name periodic table. So every so often, he noticed that he found an element like lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, that reacted violently with water, like you'd expect them to do. Lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium. They all react violently with water. Similarly, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, they're all strong oxidizing agents. Neon, argon, krypton, xenon, they're all inert gases. So Dmitry Mendeleev created the first modern periodic table by arranging the elements in horizontal rows in order of increasing mass. Amazingly, he also left spaces in the table predicting the existence and the properties of elements yet to be discovered. For example, germanium. Germanium hadn't been discovered yet, but he left a space right here in the periodic table predicting that one day an element would be discovered whose mass and properties would place it right there in that spot on the periodic table. And sure enough, later when germanium was discovered, its mass and properties fit right in that location. However, there were some discrepancies in the table, like tellurium and iodine. You'll notice that the mass goes down rather than up. It goes from 127 to 126. There's also a few other places on the table where that happens as well. Henry Moseley, based on experimental data revealing each element has a unique number of protons, reorganized the periodic table in order of increasing atomic number. And that's how our periodic table today is arranged. Not in order of increasing atomic mass, but in order of increasing atomic number.